it's happening in New York, New Jersey, or Long Island. Hear about it with Joe Piscopo. Mornings, 6 to 10 on AM 970. The answer. Live from the smart way to buy. Dot com studios. The real deal with celebrity chef David Burke is sponsored by Tavern 62 by David Burke, located at 135 East 62nd Street on the Upper East Side of Manhattan, where restaurant magic happens. I did, that, I did that bit on stage. He was my idol, my idol, my idol. I became friends with James Brown. The whole time, I never understood one word that he said. <laughs> That is someone who Donald Trump would not raise to be able to speak English. But Bruce, Bruce is the same way, David, right? They, you, you say, hey, Bruce, he goes, yeah, hey, oh, yeah, 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 man. <laughs> I, tell you, you know, I hear that, I hear that, you know? Like two, but two of the, maybe two of those brilliant performers of all time, James Brown and certainly Mr. Springsteen. Hey, it's Piz Capo in the morning, six minutes after 8 o'clock. Good morning, David Burke. Hey. David Burke live in the studio. That's our man right here, Super Chef. By the way, we got weapons this morning. I want to thank you for that. So, oh, no, this oh. is Harold Nash. Uh, yes. So I get there to David's. I went with the Idolas for uh, Tavern 62 on Friday. Yeah, 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 yeah. After you saw Ed Giro's play. <laughs> right. sure, so sure. Uh, David had some bacon waiting for us at the table because oh, he thought Al was going to sneak oh, in. Oh, oh, and oh, some oh, oysters oh. with caviar. Oh, Joe. Yeah. I've never had oysters like this in my life. Uh-oh. This is the greatest oysters I've ever had. I can see in his eyes. You got him. Uh, I'm got thinking him. about these oysters Mouth right now. He's, right he's not later. married, you know. No. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but then we get there, and Harold Nash, he comes up to us, and, he's, and he and his wife, wow. Bonnie, they said, we watch you guys every Tuesday morning. I would love Joe. Is that right? Is yeah. that right? Yeah, we love That's Joe. Great. That's great. And then great. he says, you know those knives that David Burke uses with you guys every Tuesday yeah, morning? Yeah. I said, yeah, I love those knives. Those but, knives are nothing. <laughs> These, this is the next generation of those knives. This, and he says, here's some for you. Who said And here's that? some. You can either choose to give it to Joe or to Al. No, this is great. Do we have a note in here? Is this a note? Like No, no. Uh, this is the note. Oh, yeah. There oh, it is. Harold Nash. Oh, there you yeah. go. Harold Nash. This your guy? This yeah. your guy? This yeah. is great. Thank you, Harold. Harold. great guy. Thank you. Wife, you. You actually give Italian, Italians a knife? And I appreciate <laughs> oh, it. Oh, hey, I mean, wait really. a minute now. So Bonnie, what do you want to say? I'll cut you. I'll Bonnie, cut you. Bonnie Three said Italian guys a knife. in front of my longtime Sorry, companion kidding, at least four times how adorable I was in person, right? which is great for her to hear. It's nice for her oh, to hear yeah. that there's these other women out there that think and, I'm and adorable. And my, my friend in uh, Wilsbury, Barbara. Oh, you know, not Joe, you're great on the radio. Not, gosh, I love all the great guests that you have. Mm. I can't believe everybody's listening. I love Frankie. Well, that's this is nice. all I hear. This is, is all I hear. To, Harold, of course, you said, now? after his wife prayed, <laughs> Give me that me, knife. Harold said, I thought you'd be taller. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's great. Isn't that interesting That's about the radio they, voices, yes. you know? They always say that. I know. I'm going to say something it's like, like that. Me too, Harold. My dad's 6'2". I'm still waiting to grow. And, and, and David, before I forget, I'm trying to cover everything. Well, Harold's the guy who sent you to Pots and Pants, too. Yeah, which is which I don't. Oh, yeah. I use only those. Yeah, yeah. I use only the David Burke. Harold, right. thank you. Harold Nash, thank you. The David Burke Pots and Pants, all I use. You know why? Because I'm a single guy. I go in and, like, even in the morning sometimes, if I get up and I got to get out, like this morning, I'll put up uh, 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 the, the, you. You don't even have to put the Pam spray in. Sometimes no. it's ceramic, so I put the David Burke pan in there. I do the eggs two seconds. I scramble them right in the eggs. It right. doesn't get dinged right. up. Right. Right. Really, really quite extraordinary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you well, came up with that idea. Well, nice new glasses you know, too, man. Hey, thank you. Very, very good. Observant. Very handsome. It's three guy. weeks now, but that's okay. Yeah. This is <laughs> good. You got two admirers <laughs> on each side of you today. And before we go any further, I had a great talk with Iggy Jufre. He's the man behind the Route 22 Toyota. And okay. Uh, that just a, a great guy, just a great guy, and he goes, "We got to get together, Joe, because he's been traveling. I've been traveling." He goes, and he's down towards uh, South Jersey a little bit. I said, uh, "Drift House." He goes, "Oh, I love the Drift House. Oh, good. So good. we're gonna go down there, and then this, and then this, and I know we're gonna talk about David Burke. We're talking about the cuisine and everything. I go like this with Mikey. You know, who played the guitar? I took Mikey with me to Vegas, crushed it on stage. Oh, yeah, myself. Yeah, so Fifty, yeah, yeah, man, unbelievable. I will tell yeah, you what, yeah, we yeah, the jazz right. club in North that's Hollywood, right. yeah. and then and then and then I sent him on. I go. So I, I want him now. He wants to play the Drift House. He wants to prepare for his performance at the Drift House. When can we play? I go, I'm checking with David. So then I call Barry Habib. He, Barry's the producer of Rock of Ages. He's a great guy. Oh, yeah, and yeah. a great performer. Wow. You know you know yes, Barry. You yes, know Barry. Yes. He knows you. So Barry goes, Joe, I got a studio in my house. I'll get players. We're going to rehearse for the oh, Drift House. Great. Oh, well, we're not just coming down oh, there. we're going to have a festival. We're going to do a yeah, thing. Yeah. So we'll bring Iggy down. I'll okay. bring my son down. I'll see if I can bring Barry down. And okay. we'll have a whole festival at Drift House, man. October. 
In in October is it? Yeah. Okay. See, I got he thinks it is me. I got you see how he news. thinks, guys. I got I got because we got a, we're making an announcement in October about something a new a new little. Can you give us a leak here? Leak here? Leak here? Can you leak here? It's it's uh, anything to do with crickets? Hint, crickets. The hint is it's naughty. Oh, oh. Uh, that could be that could be uh, the word. Al looked up that from could, his phone. That could tie into the word nautical. <laughs> Oh, 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 wait a minute. Oh, yeah. oh, and, and if Harold uh, is listening for that Pirates. October day, we could use some The forks. pirate martini. You know. <laughs> mm. Fork. Wait. He said if Harold is listening, when we come to see Joe in October, we could use some forks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> could you imagine He's we're not, all eating with knives? Anyone can Arr. get it, he'll get it. Arr. 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 David, look what you have for us. I'm and looking. we got the rolling pin for the peg leg. <laughs> <laughs> I just want the bread to not cry when you're cutting onions. Wait, now you got me. Thing, what, what could be naughty? You know, be naughty, naughty, like naughty. What's naughty? I mean, like naughty. Look, immediately you go the other way. <laughs> right. See? I get, I get Scantily it. clad sailors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm I throw a bone out, you want the steak. <laughs> Speaking of steak. Wow. Allen Brothers. It's okay. I can bring my. I can still bring my son down. I, can bring, I know. It's not that you naughty. You should go down. No, 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 no. You, it's you, nautical naughty. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Mermaid good. naughty, maybe. Now oh, the pirate naughty. Oh. October. Dropping some hints. It's not Halloween party, but okay. it's something. All right, all right. All right. Uh, we look forward to it. You give us the date. We'll I put like it together. I like this <laughs> huh? I like it. We like I discovered America. It's like, you know? go long. Yeah. So I have. I, I see before me. You're watching on on TV. Hello. And if you're listening on AM970, the answer, am970theanswer.com, I got two, be- three different Great. cuts of steak yeah. on, on a beautiful piece of wood yeah. here with a kind of a uh, sauce right in the middle, yeah. a gravy in the middle. W- which, the, the, one's a hamburger you know, steak. You know, one's a, it's, it's a, it's a Wagyu burger. What's that one now? It's just a, it's a Japanese breed of beef that has a little bit more, uh, a different texture, flavor, and fat content. Okay. It, it's prize burger. Yeah. Prize cow. less less fat less fat content. No, more, more fat. Oh, interesting. More fat and beef using means more expensive. Yeah, yeah. And wow. more flavorful. Yeah, yeah. So, so what happens for Labor Day? Labor Day's coming, right? Mm-hmm. I'm used, I do something at the U.S. Open. I also got to be up in Saratoga. Um, I, so I'm busy that time of year. Yeah. But all you know, my friends, my family, they're like, "Can we buy steaks from you? We want your steaks." And I'm like. No, <laughs> you can't get it from the restaurant. It's because we don't ship. Yeah, yeah. But I buy my beef from Allen Brothers anyway. They age, they do the, the salt aging. Allen Brothers, and all these years I've been buying from them, you know, we don't buy retail. They have a whole retail line. So oh. I had them send us some packages. So I, now I tell my friends and family, just go to Allen Brothers, A L L E N Brothers dot com, and and order. Look at you. Because this, this is the this is the this is. Uh, this you? is you know, they're ready to go. Two days notice, you, you ship. So if you could see, I have a box with a knife in it, and the, the, what's the significance <laughs> of the knife? You don't get the knife with the steaks. <laughs> Huh? Who drove the Nike? I couldn't. Couldn- I had it in my mouth when I was walking, and I didn't want to fall, so I put it in a box. Smart move. Because my Al- hands were. Full. You can get fish from them too. Everything. Even my Allen favorite. Brothers, the great steakhouse steaks. So what do we have? Boxes so, but they said this is look at the Wagyu, and you look at the marbleization. Anyway, this is prime beef. So this is what I buy. You, I got. And I you got get it aged. I gave this different varieties. Oh, you can get yeah, anything this you is, want. Uh, the box I have is a prime strip steak. Wow. Yeah. Well, I, you I, got I, some strips and fillets. And fillets in there. Yeah. So you got a fillet, but take one out and look at the marbleization. Anyway. I don't have the pricing in front of me. Go on online and get it all. But there's a promo now. Oh, nice. Burke, if you order online, you go to you, go uh, promo code BurkeBox1. Yeah. That's if you buy $189 worth of food, you get eight burgers free. Wow. So where do they? If you go BurkeBox2, yeah. 2 dollars you spend, you get three uh, three pounds of filet mignon free. Wow. Called Beef Medallions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, so again, you got to go to Allen Brothers for the David Burke deal. Is that yeah, right? yeah. I, to... I can't ship for my restaurant. We're not in that business. Yeah, shipping, yeah, yeah. But people ask, right? Going. They ask. They want well, to... even for me to stop and you know wow. to bring beef to my, you know, I can't yeah, take. And food they, out they sell grass-fed beef. They have everything. It's a great company. No, they, no. they sell. <gasps> I don't know. Uh, they sell nationally. Thank you, They've I'm been gonna, in business I'm for a long one. time. It's, look at this it comes beef. With, it's, you know, it's what is this beef? I have a plate this is, full this of is beautiful. For you. Oh, look at you. And Thank that's you. For these, the, oh, the, sorry, you see what I'm saying? It's, that's it's for, for you and the president. For me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Did you, the president come at the BLT ketchup? Prime, by the way? Oh, yeah. He came in, and he likes Always. everything well done. Always, yeah. See, I knew I liked the guy. <laughs> See, that, that's so funny. So he made, there's a beautifully laid out piece of- That's one sirloin. Of, of a sirloin. That's what this is. And then, but he's got one, two, three, four pieces of, like, you can see it right there on TV, burnt. This is burnt. Yeah, this I is had daddy. the burnt piece, because I didn't realize. Uh, I, I'll have, oh! I'll take one of the rare. You know, my mother said to me- It's gone, but not forgotten. My mother <laughs> said to me- have a couple of steaks. I'm eating this now, man. Right. I'm taking this right here. Go ahead. But you know, well, the beef tastes better. 
What? Tell me now. Well done beef has more flavor than rare beef. No, I didn't know that. Maybe that's why I like it. Because when anything's caramelized, meaning brown, it's sweeter. Mm. God, this is Doesn't great. mean it's juicier, but it tastes better. Is this the, is this the Allen Brothers steak? Yeah, Allen Brothers Prime. So it's really as close as you can get to it as a restaurant steak mm, as God, possible. Baby, now, this is so, so the, good. And so I don't eat red steak. meat, and I'm eating the red meat. And it's lean. It's lean, brother. So, that, so, oh. they, so if you want to get some really good meat sent to your house... That's the way they do it. They have everything, ribs, fish. Mama, mama, Here's I'm eating dish. steak, mama. I'm eating steak, baby, with David Burke. Look at him now. 16 after 8 o'clock, we have a food fest here. And now, look at this. Now we have, we have like, um, Humpty three. Humpty Dumpty. Like Humpty Dumpty. These are cut. You half. see Humpty Dumpty when you go to Tavern 62. Yes, he's on the exactly. wall. He's yeah, on yeah, the plate. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, everywhere. Yeah, so th these are like three eggs that are Still like already already cut in half. And then with with egg holders yeah. in a beautiful little, now they, they scrambled eggs are within the eggs themselves. This yeah. is very, very good. So very now nice we have presentation. The, in Look at this. the Garden City Hotel mm. after being open for a couple months, a mm. few months, mm -hmm. three months or whatever it is. We are introducing the chef table. Ooh, we finished the construction. Thing. It's actually in the kitchen with a glass. It's about half the size of the studio. Mm -hmm. Glass wall, looking at the chefs. No, we're just in town. Garden City Hotel. Oh, man. So there's a five-course meal. You can choose to have your wines poured by the sommelier, yeah. or you can order yourself. Uh, I think the five courses is 90 or $100. I'm not sure exactly. Mm -hmm. It's four to eight people, private room, mm -hmm. signed chef hats and menus. This would be your first course, something like this. Like this right. is, and this would at, be something like an, an egg, egg scrambled? An egg cut in well, half I made them eggs in, right in. I made them here, but we would scramble an egg or put a custard in there wow. with caviar or My smoked salmon. Depending on Albert, what the rest of the egg Albert? is, we use sure. this as your a egg. You had your egg cup? You have some well, more eggs. Right, hey, David, can I ask you something about yes. eggs? Thank you. I eat eggs all the time. Right. I'll have three, four eggs a day. Yeah. And I don't care about cholesterol no. because it's good It's good now, isn't it good? Eggs are good for you, right? You know what? I grew up eating margarine. My dad was very healthy, right? Mm -hmm. and margarine, margarine. And then, you know, if I'm an adult, and all of a sudden, margarine's no good for you. You know, so it's <laughs> eggs. And I every, Listen, you're in good shape. You exercise. You don't eat a dozen eggs. I, listen, if you, I, I'm on a diet right now, believe it or not, for two weeks, yogurt, whey protein, and veggies only. And I was miserable for four days because my habits of just grabbing stuff right. in the kitchen yeah, yeah, yeah. were like, I, I was getting frustrated. Mm. I, I'm only 12 days in. I tell you, I'm feeling great. You look great. You and, look you know, great. The, the, the bloat stuff, you know, the heavier. Uh, and, you know, because I eat late at night. I, late at night, what you want to do is just grab something with your hands. And, yep, and I yep. stand up all day, so oh, I, I don't want to sit. Yeah, yeah, but so, how do you yeah, avoid yeah. picking all day when you're yeah. around all this great but food? You, you, you think about your doctor smacking <laughs> in your head. I mean, I'm like... <laughs> That's it. Plus, too, I mean, you got to get the food out. Too. I got to I mean, tell you, you, know, you it's can't just, stop. It's it's but I'm learning about the vegetable combos, and you know what I'm learning? How, why people go to certain restaurants or these these healthy stand-up places, grab and goes, or why they go to the Whole Foods uh, uh, buffet because they can p get what they want. But, you know, it's hard to find healthy food you, in a, in a regular a grab and go restaurant. Sure. And in my business, you try to do you you carb up. I carb up like three yes. o'clock in the afternoon. Right. So, so it hits like about when I'm on stage, seven or eight o'clock. That the kiss of death is what everybody does. We're gonna go grab a bite to eat. Wow. You eat then, boom, kiss of death. Worst right. thing to do. And I don't do it. I make sure I eat beforehand. So it's that late night. But you need the la you need the uh, the fermented food from the yogurt stuff to get the gut. Clean that stuff out. That. Yeah. Speaking and of that, you got to start with that before you. St and that's a, almost you like you do a look clean. good. You do but, look yeah. good. Man. But real quick, speaking of the healthy, healthy Between gut you. stuff, the story <laughs> came out last week about crickets Between and you. how crickets are Did good you for that? you. Yeah. For Did you your see gut. That? Yes. They're good for healthy digestion. So, Excuse me. Chef, you were, you were on me. it earlier than anybody else. I was telling little Charlie, you know, uh, that, and I said, you know, I have a friend from, from Hazlitt, you know, and Charlie's originally from, her mom's from Hazlitt. I said about crickets. She was fascinated. Oh, great. And I told her that most of the world eats insects, right? Oh, yeah, 80% of people. So now you have a cricket pizza there at the Woodpecker oh, yeah. there on 30th Street, which is great. Just, people are ordering this and eating this. Yeah, people eat it. But, you know, it's more fun when you put them in ice cubes and make a drink with them. Because, oh, great. That's because great. Because then, you know, it's not such a commitment for dinner. I mean, Right. And it's in the ice cube, so you're safe. So right. we yeah, have fun. With McCullough that. came in over the weekend to make some of the pizza. David oh, yeah, made yeah. him go in there and help in the kitchen His because they couldn't afford kid. to pay the bill. Well. But the, the thing with the, <laughs> the thing the thing with Kevin, the chef's table you, is Come that on. there's actually a flat screen television set oh, that you right. can watch. 
the food being at prepared. Tavern, where at Tavern 16? No, 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 in the Garden City Hotel, yeah, the chef's I, I, we table. We got to get out there. And yeah. the boss is here, Jerry Crowley, looking very fine in blue. Hey, Jerry, how you doing? Good, Good to see you. Sir. There's the boss, Pete? David. Oh, David man. made some spectacular Start things. What do we do with these steaks? Can we, can, we, can we freeze them? I can take them back and ship them to you, or you can keep them in the fridge. Can we keep them in the fridge oh, yeah, here? Oh, yeah, you keep these. I put it out for the sales staff, it'll be gone raw. But with raw, they'll eat it up, you know, right, Jerry? Sales staff, right here. Yeah, let's start right here. Isn't it sales meeting today? Yeah, it is today. Look at this. Oh, we'll bring in. I, look at that white streaks in the middle. That's the. That's the our boss, Jerry Crowley, general manager, life. legend, radio legend, looking yeah. dapper Living in blue. Legend. I wish I Living legend. Back. I know. Right. It's like, not... David, thank you. You're the best. Oh, you're what is good? It's so sensational. Stop making eggs today. <laughs> yeah. David Burke. Listen, we got knives too. If you need. We, by you the way, cut anybody. We, we're, we're, we're good. We're taking Iggy. We're going to go down to the Drift House. You're going to give me the date to go. We're yeah. going to rehearse with Barry Habib. We're going to do a show down there. We're going to rock and roll down yeah. there with guitars and drums and have oh. a blast at the Drift House. Yeah. yeah. What do you yeah, think? Keep going. No. I'm not. And then, then and then tell us about Garden Garden, uh, Garden City Chef Table. Book it. That's great. Tavern 62. And you know what? This, I had the chef, first Chef Table in New York City 92 at Park Avenue. Uh, no kidding. There becomes a demand for this. Yeah. So if somebody wants it as a gift, it's a great gift. Yeah. Great corporate yeah. party. Yeah. Great yeah. anniversary. You got yeah. privacy. And any perform people performing at Jones Beach, this is private. So on your website, David, we could find out about the Allen Brothers. We could find about all this great you, cuisine. AllenBrothers.com. Yeah. I'll link it to my website, ChefDavidBurke.com. Okay. okay. And uh, also, uh, there's a food festival, food and wine festival, Saratoga, September 7th. Saratoga. David Ortiz, myself, another chef, Boss, Todd can English. can we go up there? Come another. on. We got to go up Let's there. Go. Yeah. Let's go up there, huh? So, that, so if anyone's interested. The most creative chef in the world. Ever. Thank you. In Ever. the world. And, we're, and he's with us, and we are proud to have Thank you here. You. Enjoy David, we love Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks, boss. All David right. Burke right there. Just Google David Burke, and you have just a plethora of things you could do. Everybody knows this guy. No, everybody knows he can do a radio show. Joe Piscopo. Mornings, 6 to 10 on AM 970. The Answer.